Greetings, ladies and gentle fish, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. And we have got a fetch quest to do. Yay! Fetch quest! Woohoo! Oh, so. Right. So we heard that Sinner might have one of those potions. And we saw an ATE where he was in the theatre district. Can you tell where we're going? So, this way, out through here, because we need to get to the airship docks. And we need the little bitty airships that go around. Go in a straight line, you stupid drunk twazzo. Um, now, you only have access to the business and theatre districts. The industrial district got wrecked by Atmos. So, let's go to the theatre district and see if we can hunt down the ugly hammer. Onward, 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 For great justice! Here we go. Great. Now, this is where, um... Well, you'll see what I mean in a moment. Hang on. Let's not, let's not describe it. So we get out here. And we're reunited with a couple of people that we met a long time ago. Hey, isn't that? I think it is. Yo! How's it going, buddy? Hey, you're the couple from Bamesia, whose names I can't even remember. So if you cast your minds back to Bamesia, we saved the lives of a young, um, well, couple of Bamesians. Thank you again for your help in Bamesia. Ah, it was nothing. I'm glad to see your husband's doing well. Yeah, my legs all healed, thanks to you. It was a struggle, but luckily we were able to get here. Some of our friends made it to Limblum too, but they said many people died on the way. Jeez. Active time event. The rally. No, not rally ho. Freya! I'm so happy to see you. Likewise, I'm glad you all made it here. Yes, it was a long trip, but somehow we found our way here. I only wish Dan and the others were here too. We've lost so many friends. Indeed. We can't get down now. We have to go on, for their sake and ours. So Freya, what are you going to do now? I'm going off to Kuja with Zidane and the rest of the party. I love the fact that's just how they describe it, because everyone is aware that this is a party of role players who are going to kick the bad guy in the spleen. <laughs> <laughs> Larpers beware indeed. And you? We're going to regroup and embark on the reconstruction of Bermesia. Basically, everyone's reconstructing their homes because all their homes got wrecked. Go figure. Many of our comrades are still scattered all over the continent. Actually, we were hoping you would join us. Oh. Then I will see you all as soon as I complete my objective. Please take care of things till then. Will do. Good luck to you two. Thank you. I wish Sir Fratley were with us. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I want to show you something. That's right, huh? Hey, come here. Okay. There are children. So, this is where you have you have basically one of two options. Option number one. Some years have passed while uh, while you've been playing this game, and the ages that you're quoting are the ages these guys started at, but not necessarily their ages now. So Zidane might by now be like 17 or 18. These are their children. Five kids. Now five kids, bearing in mind it looks like these guys are sort of vaguely related to rodents. Um, I mean, they can have litters, I mean, that makes sense, fine, but the kids are able to talk. Option number two, maybe this race just matures really quickly. Who's this daddy? He's my saviour. Oh, what's a saviour? A saviour is a really important friend. Oh, I want a saviour too. He looks cool. <laughs> I like your kids. Someday we're going to return to Bermesia. Right now we're trying to get everyone together. It's going to take a lot of time and effort to rebuild our home. Can we go play now? Sure. We must rebuild Bermesia for our children. Make sure you come visit us once we're finished. 
yes, after all, you are our saviour. <laughs> I'll definitely be there. Cool, there we go. There's a nice little scene. It's just, I, I find it quite sweet. Um, so. Let's just raid the usual places for treasure chest, basically. Um, has this been restocked? Why, yes, it has. Ooh, Lapis Lazuli. Ask about the potion. Self-proclaimed artist Michael. I've never heard of him. Um, if you happen to find it in my studio, go ahead and take it. Right, so... Yeah. Would you looky here, we just find a strange potion lying on the floor. That the guy is unaware of. Yoink! That was easy. So there's potion number one. And if we have a look in the key items... Uh, a key item received in Limblam, an ingredient to the medicine that can cure SIDS disease. Strange potion, root of mountain, source of sea, Sahagin's blood. Head of a revived beast, call a dragon. Chant a spell. Book of Matoya. Sounds a bit dodgy to me, but you know, what do I know? Let's talk to some of these kids. La 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 la. La 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 la. Sorry, just had Loki go, Hi, my name's Tammy. No, we are not playing Under Undertale. No. No. Did I mention no? <laughs> I thought you'd all be here. Today, are you alright? I heard you got injured pretty bad. Marcus apparently doesn't know how to use ladders. You can walk, that's a good sign. Yeah, looks like I'll live. Have you talked to Blank? Yeah, I saw him at the castle. So what are you doing here? Just stopping by to say hi? Actually, I came here for a favour. Do you happen to have the unusual potion? Yeah. Nice. Can I borrow it? Yeah, sure. Hold on. So, Zidane, are you ever going to rejoin us? I don't know. I'm going to think about it after things settle down. It's boring without you. <laughs> Aren't you a delight? Here you go. Unusual potion. What are you going to use it for? To turn Sid back into a human. Thanks a lot. And then, irritatingly, Zidane runs off. Don't let that deter you. There are things that have not been nailed down that we need to pick up. So, go back here. Don't take the game's subtle hint to clear off. Go back into the thieves hideout. And once again, fulfill your ironic duty and thieve from the thieves. And now, I don't think there's anything on the bed this time round. But it was worth checking anyway. So, three treasure chests. They've all been restocked. No money, 1,273 gil, 970 gil, and 4,826 gil. Now, after robbing the thieves, then you may leave. Right, there's only one district that you can still pay a visit to. We can't go, as I mentioned, to the industrial district. It doesn't exist anymore, but we can go to the business district. The industrial district was always the small boring one anyway. Although, I say that, it was the one that had the little, um, calf restaurant thing in. Speaking as someone who quite likes their food, the death of a restaurant, very sad. And I don't want you to outlive their restaurant. Jeez, oh, I don't know, I think people might disagree with you then. Um, I wonder what you've got to say for yourself. Ask about the potion. With the industrial district destroyed, we have a great opportunity to develop new technology, so who gives a damn about potions? Screw you, too. That is all. Ask about the potion. My grandmother once told me that there was a potion collector who used to live in a studio in the theatre district, so we've already swiped that one. Ask about the potion. Damn it, Jim. I'm a doctor, not a miracle worker. Ask somebody else. Love the Star Trek reference. Ask about the potion. Ask someone else. Fine. Ask about the potion. 
People still use that stuff. I know they used to use them in the old days. Yeah, yeah, you are not helpful. Potion. I don't know much about potions. Potions. And away into the background. Great. Ask about the potion. Never heard of it. Maybe my sister knows. Ask about the potion. You get the idea. I don't know. Ask my brother. Well, aren't you two massively helpful? Sounds familiar, but I don't know. Can't you see we're working? If you actually go back here, I think it's back here. You can pick up something. Is it back here? Maybe it's not back here. That's where it was somewhere. I can't remember. Ooh. Sagittarius, Stilazio coin, booyah. Limblum gets wrecked, which shakes some Stilazio coins out of the woodworks. Potions? I don't know. I don't put any potions on my pickles. I don't want to know about putting pickles on your potions. <laughs> Can we just leave the pickles and potions to one side? Because I'm, I'm starting to get some hammer-related flashbacks. Uh... <laughs> The birds have been driving me nuts lately. I can't concentrate at all. Maybe I should become a bird freak. Right. Two potions. Portions? Potions. Two treasure chests have been restocked with an elixir and a remedy. So you might as well take them while you're there. I mean, why not at the end of the day? And out once again. And so we're just going to continue on to the next region of the business district. No luck so far, which is a bit sad. But there we go. Talk to more people. More lovely, lovely purples. Um, let's go over here into the synth shop. Ask about the potion. I've never heard of it. Sorry. Okay, talk about something else. I'll take your weapons and make them a thousand times better. Yeah, you will. Have you got anything interesting? I could synth them the Dane's ring. Um, well, I'm not really into it at the moment. Extension? No. Reflect ring? Nah. Uh, feather boots? Nah. Pearl rouge? No, I am not paying. Sorry, how do you make Lippy out of an elixir and a moonstone? What? Anyway. Yeah, but what are you going to do? Grind the stone down? Let's ask the dog. Bow wow. Yeah. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Why don't you ask sis? Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. God, these guys are completely really useless, aren't they? Let's go in here for a bit. Always worth checking out. Ask about the potion. I'm sorry, I don't know. Don't know anything about potions. Did you ask Alice? Right. Finally getting somewhere. Wow, there are so many different weapons. Maybe I'll buy one for my protection. It's like a miracle all over again. This is a weapon shop, but I also sell items now. Take a look. So, if you haven't already got them, this is a nice opportunity to stock up on some kit. I've already got a coral sword, partisan, ice lance, poison knuckles. Don't have a magic racket, so I'm going to buy me a magic racket. Um, Cypress pile? Yes, please. Pinwheel? Nah. Chimera arm? Blah, 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 blah. Mantra band? Why not? Dark cat? Sure. We go. Okay. Cool. So he mentioned talking to Alice. I remember a guy with spiky hair who carried something like this. Final Fantasy 7 reference, by the way. Because dirty great big swords. Oh, does it turn up in 12 as well? They do like being very self-referential. So, this is not Alice, but uh, ask about the potion. I've never heard of this potion. Now, I, I already knew who to ask. I'm just laboring the point that you can ask a variety of different people. I never use potions or other medicine. Medicine? Medicine, I'm always in good health. So this is Alice. She used to be the person who sold potions. Um, 
but now the potions are sold in the weapons store. But if you ask her about the beautiful potion, she has it. And she will go and rummage around and give it to you free of charge. Which is nice. You can have it, it's too old to sell anyway. That's all of them. Finally, I can go back to the castle and see Sid. Right, that's all the different potions collected. Oh my god. Let's go back and see the region. And see if we can mix up this potion, slap it all over his oily skin. He's an oglop. Slap it all over his oily skin. <laughs> Actually, let's just quickly pop into here again and see if there's, um... There'll be a Moogle in here, if nothing else, I imagine. I guess I'll write something. Uh, I've already been here a few times and I like this in. The location is good because it's right in front of the air cab station and it's nice having a Moogle around. I just wish it were cheaper. Zidane. Wait, no, I didn't mean to... Whoops. <laughs> I just accidentally wasted 100 gil. Meanwhile, Loki just caught a mud kit. Mud kit. Mud kit. Mud kip. Um, so you wake up in this- I didn't mean to spend that 100 gil, but it's not as if it's the end of the world, it's only 100 gil. Now you wait, the next time I go to the friggin' auction house, I'll be 100 gil short. Um, oh it's a letter coupon. yeah, it's been a while since I received one. From Mogki to Moodon. Alexandra is in a horrible state right now, I wonder if Kupo and Mosh are okay. Let me know when you have more info, I heard that Steel Skin was also in Alexandria. Kupo. That wasn't a very happy letter, Kupo. I wonder what's going to happen now. Ah, it's a letter from the Flying Moogle Sereno. Thanks for delivering the letter, Kupo. I rode an airship called the Red Rose, but I saw something horrible, Kupo. The idol on Odin's power is terrifying. It destroyed Clara completely. There's not even a trace of the city now. Bran's Red Rose destroyed Clara? Bran is scary, Kupo. Bran is dead, Kupo. I haven't received any mail lately, Kupo. Bran was scary. Get with the times, Moogle. Now it's Kuja who's scary. And Garland. They're both scary. And they're both creepy. And we don't like either of them. Right. Cool. Cancel. Right. So, having visited the Moogle there and gotten rid of all my letters, which is nice, uh, we are going to go... Have I got a coupon nut in my inventory? I should do, I think. Check these two potions. Sigh of Whisper Grass, Light of the Dark, Antidote, Cast a Spell in the Northern Wind. Um, Colour of Water, Oon's Mirror, Flower of Light, Holy Thunder, Cast a Spell in the Full Moon. Fantastic. Oh, I was actually looking for a Kupo Nut. I'm Kupo for Kupo Nuts. Sagittarius, Sagittarius dashed through the night, defying the chilly northern wind that was stinging his right cheek. I have two chocograph pieces as well, of course. Coupo nut, there we go. Coupo for coupo nuts. So I'm going to need to pay a visit to the couple in Gizamoluk's Grotto at some point and deliver them a coupo nut. We want to go back to the castle and see if our efforts have uh, been fruitful. We have all the stuff, so this should allow Regent Sid to return to human form. Then we should be able to get an airship. Then we should be able to go and get on another fetch quest where we fetch Kuja and allow Dagger to wail on him with a freaking tennis racket or something. <sighs> that is the plan. But you know what they say, the best plans of mice and men gang after Glenn. So up to the regent, la 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 la, regent, regent, regi, regi, regent. Up a level, we going up. Whoops, you wanted second floor. And then we want to go through here. Is it in here or is it upstairs in his private chamber? Private chamber. Shut up! You have to go upstairs to enter his private chamber and then I ask a nice man for entrance. 
Go right ahead, the regent is expecting you. He's expecting me in his private chamber. He's, I'm not alone. Dr. Death is here as well. Hey, I got him. Um, I mixed the potions in this bottle like you told me to. Excellent, let's test it right away. Sire, are you ready? Oh, what the hell, go ahead. This better work. All right, here we go. Whoa. Did it work? Well, there's good news and there's bad news. Given that he just said ribbit, um... It didn't work. You don't say. Good gracious. The regent has become a frog. Oh man. Now we'll never get a new airship. Except, you say it's curable, but the spell frog doesn't exist in Final Fantasy IX. Or toad, or whatever it's called. Most Final Fantasy games have a spell, the specific purpose of which is to turn you into a frog or a toad. If you cast it again, it turns you back. Final Fantasy IX is one of the few that doesn't have it in, though. So it's not easily curable. It's not a status effect in the game at all. Apparently it is. Got it's not a battle status effect, so even a sooner won't work. I know. That's it, Ribbit. No more potions, no more medicine. We're gonna go find Hilda. So the fetch quest has changed. We now need to find Sid's annoyed wife. Gather everyone in the conference room. I need to patch up my marriage. Jeez, this sucks. Yeah, it really does. Thank you for coming. The Regent has an important announcement. Now he's a frog? I wanted to be become a man again, but this is all I got. Yeah, just, I agree with Loki. He, he needs to be a better husband rather than a skirt chasing little trollop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Sorry, we, are you done? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we all know that Kuja holds the key to our fate. We must find him at any cost. But we don't have an airship. Stop making reference to his private chamber. We can use that ship we stole in Alexandria. Artania, order Zebel to service that ship immediately. Yes, sire. So where exactly are we going? I'm still working on that. Um, you said earlier that there were black mages on Kuja's airship. So if we go to the Black Mage Village, maybe we can learn something. Hmm. I still can't believe it. Why were they on Kuja's ship? Why? Well, I'm with Vivi. I think we should go to the Black Mage Village. Yes, brilliant idea, Master Vivi. Princess, will you be going as well? Of course she will! I don't know if that's a good idea. Don't worry, I'll take care of her. Alright then, let's go to the Black Mage Village. I'm omitting all the ribbits. We'll all meet on board the ship at the harbour in the base level. Cool. May not be an airship, it's only a water ship, but it's better than a kick in the teeth. And or another fetch quest. No free lunch. Fresh Gishel pickles, I lost already. This town's so big, they're delicious. What all this construction? Fresh Gishel pickles. They're delicious. Delicious? You have delicious food? Fresh Gishel pickles. They're delicious. Yeah, these pickles taste great. What? That is food? You've never seen a pickle before? No, first time. I'm Pickle Queener! No. Um. <laughs> I still need to eat many different food and get much learning. My master tell me so. In that case, you should try one. I think you'll like it. Okay, I eat. But this is Queena. Queena don't do things by abs. Nom 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 nom. 
Uh, it's a woman, by the way. Uh, maybe. Queena never learns, though, because they always ask for money, and Queena is then always stumped with, I don't have any money. Why do I need money to eat? Base level, right. So. <laughs> go figure. Before we go to Serpent's Gate, which is the place that we would ride the um, ship from, our new ship, but before we go there, we're going to go to Dragon's Gate, which is the place we've been to before. The reason we're going to go there is because, well, Moogle and items and shiny things. Hello, Remedy. Let's talk to this dude. By order of the Regent, we may not open this gate, so you can't actually get out into the big wide world for this gate at the moment. Uh, Monty, hello. Cancel. I haven't received any mail lately, Koopo. Blah de blah de blah. No, Queen of Quen, I expect you to die. Yes, I know it's only because you've got a cow on your lap, but it entertains me. And you're on a swivel chair. And now you <laughs> And now you're pouting. Right, let's go to Serpent's Gate. You <laughs> pretty much. You can, by the way, um, before going down here, or even now, you could go back, and you can um, go up into Limblum itself and have Queena join your party. However, if you do that, the person who owns the, the pickle stand that Queena is eating from will charge you 100 gil because of all the pickles that Queena has eaten. Alternatively, you could just go straight to the ship and Queena will join you anyway and you'll be 100 gil better off. I know it's only 100 gil, but I'm quite tight. And I did accidentally spend 100 gil. Shut up. We're not talking about anyone's private chamber anymore. I hate you. I hate you so much. Maybe you should. <sighs> Alternatively... Oh, I don't even know why I'm bothering half the time. You're leaving? Have a safe trip. Yeah, you can leave, you dastardly fiend. Engineer Zebolt, don't worry, the ship's all ready to go. Regent is waiting on board. Please use the ladder to board the ship. So, we finally have access to a half-decent transportation method. We've only been playing this game for 30 friggin' hours. And we get on board the Blue Narcissus. The Blue Narcissus. Man, I hope this thing can get us there. Finally, I find you. Queena, what are you doing here? It's the Deus Ex Queena again. Probably. Where you go, Zidane? I travel everywhere, look all over for you, which is kind of sweet. Who's this, your new girlfriend? <laughs> I'm so tired. From Madain Sari, I climb mountains, cross ocean, fight monsters. I feel I should point out, Queena has done all this on, on her own. Queen is a badass. Wow, you've been through one hell of a trip. Also, Queena gets access to one of the most powerful abilities in the game. So. Which, suitably enough, involves dropping a giant phantasmal frog on someone's face. I mean, go figure. So, Blank, you're coming too? Yeah, I was asked to. By whom? The boss, of course, but it wasn't his idea. It was mine. Ribbit. We need at least one person to look after the ship when we reach our destination. Plus, I still owe you guys one, so I volunteered. For frog. You don't owe us anything. Is talking. Okay, anchors away! Hey, Queen of Loves frogs, so you'd better watch out. Maybe I eat it. I'm not worried. I've had more enemies as an oglop. Oh, by the way, if you ever want to change your party members, talk to me. That's convenient. Okay, where are we off to? We're going to the Black Mage Village on the Outer Continent. All right, press... Well, it's back on an Xbox controller. It used to be select whenever you want to verify your location. Right, and you finally get to choose your party. So you have to take Zidane with you. I am then going to choose people of relatively low level. Well, I'm guessing 
we're going to take Queena with us because we're going to have an opportunity to do a bit of exploration which involves going to Q's Marsh, catching and eating some frogs, getting some blue magic abilities for Queena by finding enemies and eating them. Generally lots of eating, so we're going to take Queena with us. Um, who else? Uh, Dagger has kind of pseudo silence. It's it's not that she can't cast spells, it's that you tell her to cast a spell, and about half the time, she just won't do it. Which is kind of annoying. Um, let's take... Freya needs some leveling up. So we'll take Freya with us. And... It's always worth having a healer with us, even if they're going to be a bit useless. So let's take Dagger with us, I guess. You're right, it's a danger with all the girlies. Well, for the for the sake of... So there is an achievement on the Steam version of this game for having an all-male party, and an achievement for having an all-female party, and for the sake of the latter, Queen accounts as the lady. Um, let's equip them with stuff. Right, we've already checked Zidane's equipment. So, Queen are... No, not Angel Beats, Angel Bless. I mean, Angel Beats is actually surprisingly good. Um, let's go with Bandana. The fields. Especially at the end. Jeez. Anyway, Chimera Armlet. Um. Maybe we'll swap out that for Twist Headband instead. And then. Well, let's go with the Diamond. Can we swap the bandana out for something? Nothing useful. Uh, swap it out for a feather hat on the basis that that puts the bandana back in circulation. Chimera armor, we've already got a little armlet. Survival vest. Adaman vest. Fairy earrings. Okay. And back to the beginning. So, um, given what we're about to do, we're going to fiddle with people's abilities. So. Ability up, yes. Level up, yes. What status effects are we going to have to deal with? Um, Clear-headed is going to be useful. And then we'll just go with gamma effects. MP plus 10%. Clear-headed. Um, then let's just go for 13 to spend. High Tide. And we'll whack Insomniac in there as well. Um, okay, we don't need antibody. We shouldn't do, I'm sure I'll find out that I do and I'll have to change it, but never mind. Go with HP up 10%, distract, ability up, level up. We are, prob we are going to want clear headed. And then we'll go with. Let's go with... Oh, I don't know. Bird killer is actually pretty darn useful. Um, and then the lady herself. We shouldn't need jelly. We might need clear-headed. We shouldn't need insomniac. Chemist might be useful. And we'll go with... Locomotion, just in case. Okay. There we go. There's our party. Why you not fish? Lots of yummy fish swim out there. Dagger says nothing, that's normal. Travelling by ship is uncomfortable, but it cannot be helped. We must find him by any means necessary. No, I don't want to change my party. I've got the party I'm after. Yes, I know where we're going. Right, so what I'm actually going to do at this point is just find a beach, sit on the beach, and we're going to call a Moogle and save our game. Um, so the, air sh the, sh air ship, the blue Narcissus, the ship, 
is able to go to cross any stretch of water, basically, which is quite nice. But we're just going to save our game for now. We have many things to do before we actually get to the Black Mage Village. You know, you now have an opportunity to visit a number of places, visit or revisit a number of different places in the world. So we want to take advantage of that. So, all that said and done. I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, and I will see you in the next episode where we shall do some not plot essential stuff, basically. Um, catch some frogs. Catch some rays. Catch some bad guys. And possibly, finally, get round to listening to some pseudo-northern, pseudo-Scottish dwarves. But time will tell. Anyway, I hope you catch us next time. Ciao, ciao.